Let's go to Matthew chapter 5, verses 11 through 12. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake or for my sake. So what is that saying there? This is saying first what does revile mean? Revile is pretty much to insult, to mock. I guess to speak to a person in a very abusive manner. Okay, what does persecute mean? Persecute is harm, harass, hurt, or kill. So this is saying, blessed are you when people lie on you, when they speak to you in a very abusive manner, when they hurt you, harm you, or kill you for the sake of God. I know that this may be hard to accept because I don't think anyone wants to be persecuted. I know I don't. Who really does? <laughs> if you do, let my persecutions come to you. <laughs> Verse 12, rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So what is that saying there? This is saying when all of these bad things are happening to you because you are doing things for God, this is saying be happy about it. I know that this is very hard to accept because no one wants to have trouble with others unless you have some type of problem. For great is your reward in heaven. So be happy because you are earning rewards in heaven when you are doing things for God and being persecuted for it. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So they were doing the same thing to the prophets as well. And according to this, if the prophets done the right things toward God, they have a reward in the heaven now. So we should do things for God, not only for the rewards, but because we want to bring more people to God. That is much more better. I know for myself, even for my enemies, I don't want my enemies to go to hell. I really don't. So really take heed to this. Be happy about persecutions. So this is like the main point of these verses here. Be happy about going through pain and suffering for the sake of God. God bless.